Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a really quick Friday Reads video. Uh, it's actually Thursday night, but I wanted to make sure I had this video ready to go Friday morning, so I figured I would just go ahead and do it now. I was actually planning on putting up a bookmark collection today, but I decided to go ahead and just wait until I get my book boxes for the month because I have a feeling that I'll get at least one or two bookmarks out of those two boxes. So I figured I would just wait so I can include those and it'll be the most current bookmark collection, I guess. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the Friday Reads video. So the book that I'm currently reading is The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey. This is actually on my last on last month's TBR and I didn't end up getting to it so I decided to push it to this month. So if you guys haven't heard of this book already this is basically an Aladdin retelling and the genie in this book is actually a female and the whole concept is that she falls in love with Aladdin or something like that. I'm not really too sure of all the details because I didn't want to know too much going into it but I think that's the basic premise of the story and I am only 50 pages into this. It's been a little slow going. This is really starting to pick up so I think tonight I will probably get maybe a good chunk of this read hopefully and you know I will continue on into Friday and hopefully finish this off this weekend. Once I finish that my plan is to go into Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. I have mentioned this in several videos now but I want to read the entire Harry Potter series this year. I've only ever read the first book and then the first time I read that was actually last year. So my goal is to finish up the rest of the series this year. So uh, I did go ahead and reread the first book last month for the Biennial Bibliothon and Booktubeathon. So my goal is to pick this up this month. So the next couple books that I have here are both contemporaries and I decided that I wanted to break up my reading because both of these books are fantasy books and then I do have a couple review books that I want to get to before the end of the month. So I, I think both of them are fantasy or one is fantasy and one is sci-fi so I want to break up my reading so I'm not reading too much of the same thing at one time and I get tired of reading completely so I figured that I would just go ahead and pick up a couple contemporaries either one or both of these contemporaries I'm not quite sure yet I have to see once I get to that point but the first one that I have is I see London I see France by Sarah Milanowski and as far as I know this book follows a 19 year old and she's actually going on this backpacking trip through Europe with her best friend I think they have just finished their first year of college or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but I know that she's 19. And um, she's supposed to be going on this trip through Europe with her friend. And something comes up when her friend's ex-boyfriend and his friend come on the trip. I'm not sure if they were supposed to come beforehand. And of course, that's going to cause conflict with her friend and the ex-boyfriend being there. But then the main character falls for ex-boyfriend's friend that he brings it's it's kind of crazy and then I think she's also dealing with her mother's mental illness through text messages while she's trying to go on this trip so there's kind of a lot of different things that's going on with this it sounds really interesting and I have also heard good things about this book from different people that I've seen talk about it so I am looking forward to reading this and I am hoping that I enjoy this but yeah this is the first of the contemporaries that I'm hoping to get to throughout the next week. The next contemporary that I have is Dating You Hating You by Christina Lauren and this one follows two people who are working as agents in Hollywood and I believe their company goes to a merger or something like that and they ended up they end up starting to compete for the same position and I don't know if they're dating beforehand or if they decide to start dating and then you know because of this position that they're both trying to get then something comes up and they decide not to pursue anything I don't I'm not really sure but when I heard of this this reminded me a lot of the hating game I have heard good things about this one but I have also heard that people don't necessarily enjoy this one as much as they enjoy the hating game so I'm looking forward to seeing what I think about this one these are all the books that I have on my TBR basically for about the next week 
I think I can get through maybe not all of them but I think I could get through the majority of them within the next week so I can start on my review books uh, and yeah, like I said I am currently in the middle of this one and I'm hoping to make some good progress tonight and possibly finish it by Friday night or Saturday we'll see but that is all I have for you guys today let me know what you guys are going to be reading this weekend and I will see you guys again in the next one Bye.